tutorial uh, this is the look I wore in a recent post on Instagram um, I I think I was in the car and I was looking down at something and I took a picture and it was using this eyeshadow which I love and it is the L'Oreal infallible shadow in amber rush I'm just trying to pick it up here but I don't have the lid in amber rush and I had everyone on that photo ask for a tutorial so I figured I would do it I know it's kind of basic and very sort of in the comfort in, in my comfort zone of the rose golds and bronziness of bronzy looks but hey you asked for it so I deliver um yeah it's a very rose gold sort of bronzy look it's definitely a glowy one you can tell that I'm really craving spring and summer I'm craving those bronzy colors I cannot wait to get some warmer weather some warm weather here we haven't had very much warm weather so I'm really looking forward to that um but yeah, if you want to see how I recreate this look, then just keep on watching. Now, this look is going to be really, really easy to recreate. We're using like a couple of things in our eye and that's it. And the first thing is this. Uh, this is a Flower Cosmetics Cream La cream Shadow in Wild Ger Geranium. Yes, right? Wild Geranium. That's what it looks like. I'm going to take that on a Dome Shadow Brush from Real Techniques. And this is going to be the base on the eye. I want as much rose gold as possible so that I can make that color really pop. I'm then taking the Infallible Shadow from L'Oreal in Amber Rush, which I just could not love more if I tried. Oh, just a small shadow brush. I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to take it dry. I'm not going to wet this. Not just yet anyway, and I am going to pat this all over the eye on the lid. You don't really have to go into the crease, but you want to apply this all over the lid just over top of that cream liner. Cream shadow, not liner. <laughs> and then what I used in my crease the other day, um, was this. This is actually a bronzer. This is the Buxom Bronzer in Tahiti. And I used this because I was using it on my face and I wanted to go for like a bronzy look. So I thought might as well just pop this into my eye just to kind of tie the whole thing together. And it really ended up being a beautiful like rose gold and bronzy eye. What brush is this? This is the E35 from Sigma. I'm going to pop that on and then I'm just going to buff this into the crease. And you can just intensify and intensify until you get a you know that the color gets darker and darker and darker it's completely up to you but I just loved the way it ended up looking and I had some people ask on Instagram like what crease color is that um, because it really just added a little bit of warmth but nothing too dark because I really wanted to keep this kind of on the lighter side and then what I'm going to do is I am going to take some of this Mario Badescu, Badescu Spray, spray on that little shadow brush that we apply the amber rush with because you want this to be wet. And I'm just going to pick some of that up and just pop that into the center of your lid. It just kind of like makes it almost like metallic, metallic-y I guess and really reflects whenever the light catches it. It just looks gorgeous. I'm going to just flip the brush around. Just rub it off on my hands a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this color, which you can tell it's well loved considering there's a big dent in, in it. And this is Champagne, and I believe it's from Cover. It's from Cover Girl. It's just a shadow from, it's one of my favorite shadows of all time for the brow bone and inner corner highlight. I'm going to pop some of that on just a little bit. You don't want to apply it too much under the brow bone because sometimes if you highlight your brow bone too much, what can happen is, it can make your brow bone just look swollen and that's never a good look <laughs> okay so now i'm pretty much done with the eyes i just want to apply some really good lashes and then we're going to do a really thin uh, well first let's do a really thin liner you don't have to do a wing liner or anything like that i just like to do a little thin line um kind of like 
where the lash band is just to make the lashes appear thicker and this is my steel liquid liner just like that you don't want anything to be too I don't want I don't want to take away from the rose gold with a wing liner so I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes and these are the lashes I'm using these are from the Ilor London collection I'm gonna use a number 154 which are the very bottom ones I haven't used these yet so I don't know how these are gonna go but we'll see I like Ilor eyelashes so this should be good and I got these from Madden Madam Madeline or something like that from online because they were difficult to find in any anywhere I went to, to look they were not they were not available so I'm going to take one and I have to measure this because these are really much bigger than my eye so yeah I'm going to have to cut off I would say about at least two if not three so I'm going to cut off two from the outside two little sections let's check it see how this is I have really small eyes so Mm. Should we go for it? Hmm. Let's go for it. I think that'll be good. And of course, the glue I always use is the Revlon Precision because this is just my favorite in the clear. I'm just going to pop some of that on onto the lash band, let it dry, and just kind of get tacky for about 10 seconds or so. Okay, I didn't do a really big wing. I just did like a th thin-ish line. And now I'm going to just curl my lashes because I am going to apply some falsies. So just curl them a little bit. And this is the, by the way, Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I have a lot of people that ask me that. And it is the best eyelash curler ever. And I've tried a million. And I'm going to do a one or two coats of the Lash Blast from CoverGirl. Because I don't want these kind of my lashes, my natural lashes, to be too um, like gloppy. I just want a, just a thin coating of mascara on my own lashes. And then for lashes, I'm actually using a pair from the Ilora London collection. The pair I'm using is 154. I already have one trimmed, and they are the bottom set that come. The, there's the collection comes with three different pairs of lashes. I'm using the bottom set that I've already trimmed. Make sure that you measure them and you trim them to fit your eye. Otherwise, if your eyelashes are uncomfortable, you'll end up ripping them off. Or if they're too big, the inner corner will just sort of pop up and that's just never a good look. So, pop them on. Okay, we're going to let the lash glue just set. And in the meantime, we'll work on the rest of the face. I zoomed out a little bit because I felt like you could see me maybe a bit better and I'm going to start off with my MAC Prep and Prime as my primer. I want a really beautiful sort of like luminous bronzy skin. Oh, and I'm going to use my e.l.f. stipple brush to kind of stipple that into place. First I'm going to smear this. My skin is feeling a bit dry. Well, drier than usual, that's for sure. So I want to have a little bit of luminosity. Buff that in. Okay, for my under eyes, I'm going to, of course, go in with my Armani Corrector in number two. Pop a little bit of that on. And I'm going to pat that in with my finger. And then for foundation, I'm going to go in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now, this is a little bit of light for me. It's in the color Punjab. But I'm going to warm this up and bring a lot of bronziness, to, add a lot of bronziness to it. By adding a little bit of this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator in the color 400 Bronze Bronze Light. So all I'm going to do is shake this up a little bit, pop a little bit of this in the back of my hand. I wish I had a pump. I know you can buy a pump separately, but I wish I did. Oh, if any of you picked up that new NARS like Radiant Foundation, can you tell me if I would have to pick up the same, like if it's the same coloring as this? Because I know that I need to color Stromboli right now. So if it's the same coloring as this, then I could just order the Stromboli in that version and it would work. Let me know if you've tried it. So I've got a little bit of that on the back of my hand. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Don't add a lot because it will get like dark soon, quickly I should say. A little dab like so. And then I just kind of mix them together. I'm going to need another little dab I think. Because this is still quite light. 
Okay. Give that a mush around. Yeah, that's looking much better. Perfect. It looks a little bit dark, but I'm going to shear it all out. I'm going to use my Sigma F80 to blend this in. Into my skin. Make sure you let that sink into the skin and let it set for just a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using my Fit Me from Maybelline in the color Sand. Pop that under the eye. And anywhere else you want to kind of brighten up. When you're using a concealer that's quite a few shades lighter than your skin tone, do not use it to cover imperfections because the whole point of using a lighter product is to bring those bring whatever you're applying it to forward, like make it like um just just bring it forward basically. If you're putting something light onto a blemish, you don't want to emphasize that blemish. You don't want to bring it forward. You want to conceal it, in which case you want to use something that's like a salmony tone or a concealer that's the same tone as your skin, skin tone. So blend this out. I'm using my e.l.f. brush. To set my under eye powder, I am using my Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. This is a bronzer, but it's so not a bronzer. I better take this stuff off of the back of my hand because I'm wearing foundation because I am wearing a very light shirt and chances are it's going to end up all over my shirt. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that under the eyes. I'm going to take, sorry, I have a fuzz on my face. The fuzz from. I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the color Light and I'm going to just dust this all onto the skin just to set that liquid foundation. For my bronzer, I'm actually going to use my Bobbi, Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Golden Light to contour. And this is a Real, Technique contour, Real Techniques contouring brush. I'm going to use this in the hollows of the cheek just to add a little shadow back there and then I'm gonna buff it all out with the other bronzer just to give us a little more color and I'm gonna take this bronzer that we used for the crease in our eye and a bronzer brush from Bobbi Brown and now I'm gonna warm up the face the perimeter of the face using this one it smells so good it smells so summery before I continue with the rest of the face I want to actually you know what let me continue with the rest of the face for the blush, I'm going to use Rose Dior from Milani. This is their bron bronzer brush, mineralized uh, baked blush is what I meant to say. I love this paired with this eyeshadow. It's phenomenal. And I'm taking that on a Royal Techniques uh, blush brush. You do not need a highlight with this product. It's gorgeous and a little goes a long way. You don't need to apply it too much. Now, if you feel like you took your contour way too far down, way too far down, if you feel like you've taken your contour down too far, um, or you just really want more of a defined cheekbone, this is what I've been doing. I've been taking this, no, this, I've been taking this uh, Physicians Formula Nude Wear I guess this is Touch of Glow Concealer. I'm not sure. This is re the reason I've been taking this particular concealer product is because it's very similar to my skin tone right now. So it's not going to just look stark white and really light. Um, it's just going to clean things up a little bit. And I've just been taking some of that and I run it underneath my contour. It looks pretty stark, but trust me, it's not nearly as bad as if I were to use something else. I've been taking that and then I just take my little elf brush and blend that out but then what I do is I just go over it I just take this little brush with nothing on it and just buff out that edge like that perfect my darling perfect I need to just conceal that lash band a little bit I'm gonna use my wet n wild mega liner to just run this over that lash band because that lash band is actually like a cream color and it doesn't oops it doesn't blend really well at all so you just need to apply something uh oh 
And now that I did that, I'm going to just smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. I'm going to go in with that same. I cannot, for the life of me, hold things together this today. Hold myself together today. I'm going to go in with this bronzer again on a uh, pencil brush. And I'm just going to run that on the lower lash line. And then I'm then going to take that champagne color on that same pencil brush. You don't need to switch to anything else. And I'm going to pop this into the inner corner. Spritz with my Badescu, my Badescu spray. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Discovery on my lower lashes. Okay, now we can work on the lips. Now the lips is not going to be everybody's cup of tea because it's a very, very pale pink lip. But I'm just recreating the look I shared with you on Instagram. And I know that that's what people wanted to see. So that's what I'm doing. The first thing I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to post the video. I actually already posted it. So it'll be the video before this one, I believe, on how I fill in and outline and make my lips look a little bit bigger. I'll go into depth in that video, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want more of a detailed description of how I do this. But I am going to just outline my lips using World by MAC. And I'm just going to outline and fill in the lines just on the inner corner, just ever so lightly. And then I'm going to be filling my lips in using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Bellissima. This is something you're going to have to take your time with. You don't want to rush it. Take your time. I always wipe off the excess because so much comes off on the brush. Yeah, it's too much. Once the lipstick um, sets, because it does dry to a matte finish, Take that lip liner again and just go over what kind of you already did because when it comes to using a liquid lipstick, unless you're using a, a lip brush and that just is time consuming and half the time I stop to do this anyway, you tend to always get a little bit on your lip liner. So I just kind of go over that and just kind of do it again. And this is the finished look. So let me zoom you in just a little bit more. You can see it's very bronzy, very rose gold, very luminous, glowy, which is, you know, right up my alley. Oh, let me back you up a little bit more, which you know is right up my alley. So I hope that you found this fun. I know everyone on that photo was requesting a, a tutorial, and I know that it's very similar to what I usually do, but I always try to do what you ask me for, and if that's something that gets requested and that's what I'm gonna do on my nails by the way I'm wearing Essie's um, by lace ballet slippers which I know some people might ask so that's what's on my nails my sweater is from Target but it's like three years old and my necklace is from shop lately but it's from a year or so ago oh express no shop lately I think either way it's old so I hope that you like this tutorial if you do recreate any of my looks or if you do sort of purchase any of the things I share here just tag me on Instagram and just hashtag Vitaly style I would love to kind of see your recreations and being able to, and be able to connect with you a little bit more on different in different ways so I think that'd be a lot of fun so yeah, let me know if you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you next time. Bye.